The Monarch attended the prestigious racecourse in Berkshire for the QIPCO British Champions Day. The Queen appeared to have ditched a walking stick she used when attending a service at Westminster Abbey on Tuesday, alongside Princess Anne. Her Majesty also wore a pair of black gloves and mid-height heels ahead of the Champions Day, considered one of the most prestigious events in the British sporting calendar. It comes after the Queen, 95, made a rare public intervention on the climate change crisis during a visit to the Welsh Parliament. She told presiding officer Ellen Jones that she was irritated by people who talk but don't do when tackling the climate change crisis. The Queen's remarks emerged in clips of a conversation filmed on a smartphone during a reception following the opening of the Welsh Seneth on Thursday. It is rare for the Queen's thoughts on a political topic to be made public and her comment was made during an unguarded moment. Royal biographer Penny Juna said the Queen's view was not controversial and echoes the frustration of the Prince of Wales and Duke of Cambridge. Ms. Juna added of the Queen's comments, I think what Shusha said is really not controversial at all. It's what most people are thinking. Charles has been banging his head against a brick wall on this for years. William is out there banging his head and first think it's absolutely fair enough that she should say what she feels. Meanwhile, royal historian Hugo Vickers said her comments would have been supported by the Duke of Edinburgh. Ahead of the award ceremony for his Environmental Earthshot Prize this weekend, Prince William told the BBC we can't have more clever speak, clever words but not enough action. Mr Vickers said the Queen was not venting frustration but purely making a point and added, the Queen doesn't intervene on these things, she usually makes straightforward, and if you think about it, common sense remarks. I don't consider it to be a deeply controversial thing and it's not an intervention. After nearly 70 years on the throne Shush is not going to suddenly break a tradition of a lifetime, which is to always be above politics. It's a fair point to say she likes people to get on with things, something I think would have been much supported by Prince Philip as well. However, in the lead-up to the COP26 climate change conference, the anti-monarchy group Republic has said the royals do not deserve any praise for supporting the environment. Graham Smith, chief executive officer of Republic which campaigns for an elected head of state, criticized the monarchy's stance on environmental issues. He said, the royals need to be challenged on the do-as-we-say attitude. They cannot seriously lecture the rest of us on the need to change how we live when they expect to travel by helicopter, private jet and royal train. The hypocrisy is staggering. And allowing people like Charles and William to portray themselves as environmentalists will only harm the cause of tackling climate change.